Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's presentation, Sprint Ray Midas in 10 Minutes, Transforming Chairside Dentistry with Dr. Carrie Hill. My name is Shirley, and I'm going to be your moderator tonight, and I'm thrilled to introduce our speaker, Dr. Carrie Hill. She's a renowned expert in cosmetic implant and restorative dentistry with over 20 years of experience transforming smiles. Dr. Hill are a renowned expert in cosmetic implant and restorative dentistry with over 20 years of experience in transforming smiles, and you bring unparalleled skill and passion to your craft ensuring exceptional patient care and results. So we're so excited to have you here with us tonight. Uh, before we dive in, we're just gonna go quickly over some housekeeping notes. If you have any questions during the webinar, please go ahead and type them into the Q&A box and we're going to address them at the end of the webinar, but go ahead and put them in uh, to that Q&A uh, box at the bottom of your screen um, as the questions are coming up for you. Please note that CE credit is not available for this webinar and everyone who registered will be getting a link to, uh, to our presentation tonight sometime over the coming week. Okay, well, with all that out of the way, uh, I want to welcome you again, Dr. Hill. Thank you so much for being with us, and I'm going to pass it over to you now. All right. Well, thank you so much, and I'm so honored to do this webinar. I um, have a little presentation. It's very short but sweet, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so today is about Sprint Ray Midas in 10 minutes, um, transforming chairside dentistry. Um, my name is Dr. Carrie Hill, and we're just going to kind of go over um, a live 3D print demonstration, kind of what the start to finish looks like. Um, Midas uses a cartridge-based system, which I love because there's no mess. And for me, it's faster. You just grab a, a cartridge um, and you're ready to go. So I think it's really going to be um, a great way to transform your practice. Um, again, my name is Dr. Carrie Hill. I practice in Beverly Hills, California, and I began my 3D dental printing journey two years ago. I initially went to purchase a 3D printer because I was interested in doing the digital workflow for my all on X cases. And I went to the AAID and was really blown away by what Sprint Ray was offering at the time. So I did my first 3D printer purchase then. And since then, I'm on number two. And I have now the Midas. I've been really fortunate to be one of the uh, beta testers for the Midas program. And it's something that I use in my office every day. So here we are, me, Sprint Raise Minus. It uses digital press stereolithography in order to make its crowns or onlays or veneers. Um, it really will enhance your efficiency and chairside workflow because it's so small, it's actually designed to be chairside with you. So it doesn't take up a lot of real estate on the counters and it's super easy to use. It features an AI powered design feature on the software. So if you decide on the fly that you'd like to prep a crown and deliver a crown same day, or even if you have a, a situation where you just need a long-term temporary, this is a great way to be able to do uh, a, something for your patient that will last long-term. And you can do it right away on the fly, sitting there in the chair. It uses a resin-based cartridge system, which if you have any experience with any of the larger 3D digital printers, you know that it comes, normally the larger ones have a resin basin that you have to stir. It can be quite messy at times. Um, and you're always having to maybe change out the color. Let's say if you were using A1 in, on one case, but then you needed to use a bleach shade in the other case, you know that unless you have multiple uh, res reservoirs, you do need to change that out. And that can also be time consuming. So what I love about this is this cartridge system, it's a one use, comes in different colors. Um, I believe all the Vita shades and a bleach shade. Um, and it's super easy. You just plug and play. Um, 
personally for me, I like it because you can put it chair side. So if you're prepping, um, let's say a quadrant of inlays, onlays or crowns, you can have it right there sitting beside you. Um, you're going to scan your preps. You're going to put it into the software and literally in minutes be able to add a cartridge and start printing. Um, and also what I love about this is it it does reduce laboratory costs. So sometimes when you have something where um, it's an insurance based or a patient just maybe can't afford your normal fees, this is a great service to offer. And here's all the scientific stuff about um, the ceramic crown material. Now you do need an additional um, cure that works directly with the Midas and it's called the Nano Cure. Personally for me, since I've gotten the Nano Cure, I don't even use my other larger curing machine. This one is compact, but you know, it fits night guards, it fits, you know, high redentures, multiple crowns, multiple veneers, and it does it at much less time. So let's talk about how we take this from start to finish. So you're going to begin by uh, deciding, like say if you're gonna do a single count, you're gonna prep the tooth and then you're gonna have uh, your assistant take a scan of your prep. And just like anything else, you're gonna take those, uh, whether you use a Trios or Nitero, you're gonna download that STL file into the Sprint Ray printing platform. And you're gonna, let's say if you're gonna choose AI if you don't have a lab or if you wanna just do it on the fly, or you can choose the Sprint Ray Design Services. They do have a service that is available for a rush for 30 minutes. Or, you know, if you work with a, a dental lab that you love, you send it off to your lab and they send it back to you. Um, with the AI design, you verify the margins if needed. And then basically you're gonna take those files and finalize them and send them to the Midas for printing. So very easy, scan, load the cartridge and print. Here's um, basically a, in real time screenshot of what I did. You'll see in the upper red, you're gonna start a new print job. And because the Midas has three platforms, it's gonna ask you for um, to drag your SD files in. So I decided to do two crowns on this print job and you just drop them in. All right, then it'll position it. Don't have to worry about that. It'll position it um, automatically. And again, this is literally in real time. So now you see you've got two crowns and they put one on each platform. So platform one, platform two. And then you look to the right, you'll see where um, it'll say send to printer. But one thing you want to make sure is you want to make sure that your shade is chosen because the Midas has uh, intelligence that if you choose the wrong shade on the printing platform and then you send it over the Midas and it's a different cartridge color, it won't let you print. So just make sure that those things match up. So you're selecting the Midas and you're going to send it to Q. All right. So we are ready to go to the Midas now. So on the Midas, you're going to see there's that little thing right there. That's going to be your cue. And you're going to say, start print. There's a square, there's a triangle, and there's a circle. So you're going to pick up your car cartridge. See, there's a little QR code there and a little red tape. You need to take that little red tape off in order to print successfully. You scan the QR code, and it's going to tell you that one, put in the square position. The next one. Ready for scan, take off the red tape, and it's gonna tell you to put it in the triangle position. All right, now you're ready to go. So start print, and the bar right there is actually what's gonna be coming down, forcing the material. The white part of the cartridge is gonna go down, and then your printed crown inlay onlay veneers are gonna be in the black portion of the cartridge. All right, so countdown, here we go.
You can see that uh, the bar is further down. And then it'll tell you uh, finished, ready to go. So here I am. Voila, here we have our capsule. And we're gonna take that out the, the black end and you see there is a lot of excess material, but that's okay. Your crown is there. I use um, a non-lynch paper towel and you're going to spray it with lots of 99% isopropyl alcohol and get off all the excess. And scrub, 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 scrub. Don't be afraid. A lot of times the supports will just come off naturally the more you scrub on it. Now on the insides to get everything, I like to use a micro brush to really get in there. You just don't really want any excess material because that's gonna affect the fit on the tooth. All right, so there we go. There's your crown. Ta-da. And now polish and curing, you're gonna put the in uh, your crown after you do a little characterization. So say the patient has some um, decalcification spots or um, you know, maybe has a little bit of darkening around the gingival cervical area. You can customize it. They sell different uh, staining kits that you can do. Um, sometimes the assistants love to get involved and they become really artistic and really good at it um, to stain your crowns or your veneers or your onlays. And then afterwards, you're gonna put it in the nano cure to finish. And that's it. So what I love about this quote is, you know, when you're reading this, uh, the Oliver point is that you know, the new is not necessarily to replace the old technology, but we'll date it. So by definition, eventually it will replace it. But it's like people who had black and white TVs when color came out. They eventually decided whether or not the new technology was worth the investment. So I guess when you think about 3D printing or you think about the Midas, it is definitely something new. And it's always, you know, there's always going to be a work in progress of, of, of brand new technology. But literally... I believe that every office will have one of these because the ability for you to print out, you know, very cost effective restorations um, for your patients, as well as printing veneers that are super, super thin. When we say that the ability to print veneers that are so thin, the no prep veneers really become a reality in your office and you can do it at a really affordable price. So, um, with that, I will say, um, any questions? Thank you so much, Dr. Hill. That is so impressive. And yeah, I love that last quote at the end there about, you know, the technology uh, not being eradicated by the new one, but it's people making that switch. That's really a great point. Um, we'd love to get any questions uh, from anyone out there, we, you know, we have a full audience. So if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, put them in. And we do have a question that's come in from Matt Halleck. Do you only use the NanoCure if you are doing characterization? Um, so the NanoCure is, I brought that up just because you, in order to have the Midas, you need to have the NanoCure, but I have the NanoCure that I use for even my regular printing. So if I'm doing a hybrid denture or I'm doing night guards, or I'm doing retainers or casts. I now use the nano cure because it's just the ability for it to cure whatever you're printing. The time is like a, a, in half, if not a fifth of what the larger pro cure is. So I use it for all, but yes, you definitely need to use it to finalize any of your characterizations to any of your restorations. Uh, this next question for Robert Bowman, are you printing veneers as final restoration? Um, yeah, actually, um, I've been um, very active in 
you know, patients wanting to have no prep or, or very minimal prep veneers. And with the printing, um, you really have the ability to make, I mean, some super thin, really beautiful veneers. Um, there is a, a lot of research done and a lot of doctors that I believe there's a Dr. Wally that that has a whole educational system about that. But yes, I personally do have started printing veneers for some of my patients, especially those that maybe want to uh, maybe can't invest all the way in yet on their full laboratory artist made veneers. I've started doing a more affordable option through 3D printing. Great. And uh, how have you found the existing resins as far as we wear and surf, as far as the wear and surface finish are concerned? As far as what? Um, so far, so good. I mean, I have, like I said, I've started my printing, uh, 3D printing journey two years, and I have restorations in people's mouths that are still doing really well. Um, patients actually comment that they, they feel comfortable. They have no problems eating with them. Um, in fact, uh, doing onlays with the print printer, 3D printers, I think is a game changer. Um, and you're able to give your patient something that is gonna last longer than a resin composite at a more affordable price. This next question from Robert Bowman, how do you prepare the restorations for bonding? Um, there is a whole protocol that I use. Um, I currently use the Ivocar Multi-Link uh, cement system. And Ivocar and uh, Sprint Ray actually have a whole protocol that is available um, that we can post or send, I don't know, somehow to you. Or I believe maybe if it's even online for them. But it has, uh, they, they, re they work together to make um, a cementation protocol for all the printed restorations. Great. Um, that is all the questions that we have for now. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, yet you can always reach out uh, to us and we can transfer these questions over to Dr. Carrie Hill. Um, doctor, thank you so much. And oh my God, uh, thank you guys so much. Yes. That was awesome. It was a wonderful presentation. And we want to thank you all for joining us as well. And like, as I said earlier, we did record tonight's uh, webinar and we're going to email that recording out sometime in the next week. We also appreciate your feedback via our survey that's going to pop up on your screen shortly. Thank you again, Dr. Hill. And thank you guys for joining thank us. We you. look forward to seeing, yeah, thank you. We look forward to seeing you on future webinars. Thank you. Bye. That was awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye.